Hey guys, so one of the things that you need to be able to do with a Microsoft Word document is to be able to export it or publish it as a particular type of file. And before we can do something like that, we have to first check and see if there are going to be any issues with the document and if there's anything that we need to change before we make it into this final form. So have a look here in Microsoft Word. I'm going to go to File and click on Info. And when you get to the info page of this document, you can see I actually have a section here called inspect documents. And what that does is I can choose to inspect the document for any issues, any problems, accessibility issues, or compatibility with other forms of uh, or other uh, versions of Microsoft Word. Let's have a look here. If I go to inspect document and I click here, I can check to see comments, revisions, and versions properties and personal information, the task add-ins, all these things. So let's see what happens when I click inspect. So I'm going to click on inspect. It's running the inspector and it has found that there is some personal information contained in this document. Now, it is up to me to decide, do I want to take away any personal information like my name or document server properties, the template name that I used, for example, and then publish the file and send it to someone else? Or do I want to leave that in there because they might need that information? That's up to you depending on what it is you're doing. So that's what the document inspector does. Then we have an accessibility checker. Let's show you what that does. If I click on here, accessibility, it's going to click over there. Okay, great. It runs through your document, says like, okay, uh, it might not be easy for people to read or it might not load on certain pro in certain um, computers, for example. And I can actually see here on the right hand side, I've got a few warnings here. If I just open that up there, uh, there's a reading order with some of these tables where I've got some problems here and then I can go and fix that up. So that's what the accessibility checker does. Let's go back to info, info, info. There we go. The other one uh, back over here is compatibility. You might have designed something in Word and put some pictures and shapes and other features. You might have used some of the features that look amazing and work very well in that version of Microsoft Word. But if you were going to send this file to someone else and they have an earlier version, that earlier version may not support those features. So let's find out what that means. If I check compatibility and I click here, I can say, right, uh, what version do I want to check for? I can click over here and I can check 97 to 2003. Oh my word, who's still using that? Word 2007. Oh my word, who's still using that? Word 2010. Ditto. All right. The versions that I'm showing will show me underneath what might potentially go wrong or get lost in that form. Okay. And there you can see there. And that, my dear ladies and gentlemen, is the uh, inspecting of the document. The other thing then to publish this, you've got two choices here. Well, actually, you've got three choices here, all right? You can send this file as is, as a Microsoft Word document to somebody else, but they should have Microsoft Word, preferably the same version as you. So if they don't, how can you make sure that you can send this document to them and it will look and be the same formatting that you've put into it. And especially if they don't need to edit the document, this is what you do. We can go to export, file, export, and we've got our two choices here. We have PDF or XPS, all right, those are our two choices. So we can actually create a PDF document or an XPS document. XPS is like a PDF. It's just a, I think it's a Microsoft version of PDF, okay? It, it's pretty much the same thing. Or you can export it as a different type of file. And there you can go and choose plain text, a web page if you really wanted to, or an open document text format for like open source, like LibreOffice or OpenOffice. But I would go with PDF if I was you, because then you know it's going to look the same no matter what the other person has on their computer, because they will be using a PDF reader.